What's up guys? I figure I'd take you around for my day today. I don't know why, but we're gonna go out to eat for lunch and then we're gonna go do a job and then I'm gonna talk to you guys all about uh, what you do if a customer doesn't pay you on time. The question comes in from Prime Customs. So we're gonna go ahead and answer that. Let me know what you guys think about this style of video. I kind of like the idea of like showing my cleaning business and all my tips and tricks, but then also like blending it in with like a vlog type thing. That way you guys get to know me a little bit more and see a little bit more of my life and stuff. That way it's not just boring ass cleaning videos. So let me know what you guys think. All right, so we're here at the gas station and now would be a good time to introduce our topic, I guess. Um, you know, when you have a customer and you work with them on a monthly basis and you have a relationship with these people, you set up this contract where it's like, um, hey, you need to pay me by the 31st. Well, when the 31st comes and goes and there's no check in your mailbox, it can be really frustrating. It can almost be insulting, especially if you're the one doing all the work and maybe you don't have a whole lot of customers and you really like, you need this money to rely on. It could just be like really irritating if you don't get that money and you, you take it like an attack, like they're attacking you. They're making it so that you can't buy the food that you need. You can't pay the rent that you have. And so it could be a very emotional experience. So that's what we're going to talk about today is how I handle this situation. But the car is almost full of gas, so we're going to finish this conversation when I get to the next stop. Boom. I've always wanted to do one of those little hand edit things. Anyway, so we're headed to this place called Beaverton, and it's kind of far away. Uh, it's about 40 minutes, but this is my friend I haven't really hung out with in a little while, so he's worth the drive. And I actually have a customer that's like right in the middle of where we're going, like right in the middle of where I am to him. And so... I'm gonna go out and eat lunch, grab a burger, hang out for like an hour or something, and then I'm gonna stop by this next account that I have and clean it and get on with my day. So it's just kind of cool, you know, working for yourself is nice if you get to make your own schedule because then you can take off in the middle of the day and it's not really a huge deal to drive, you know, 40 minutes on the freeway because it's in the middle of the day and you don't really have to deal with traffic or anything like that. So it makes it really easy to go see people and hang out. So that's something that I really enjoy about this whole running a business thing is the freedom that you have. So anyway, guys, uh, we're just going to drive out there and go to this restaurant and uh, I'll check in a little bit. I'll exit with one of those cool little hand things. I'm like right downtown Portland, huge buildings, and just like right in the middle of the city. You see this? But right up there, there's big trees. See, we're right in the middle of a big forest. The city's right in the middle of a forest. And a lot of you guys probably know that about Portland, but I just wanted to show you in case you've never been here um, what the Pacific Northwest is kind of like. So we're getting a little bit closer. Right in here on the left um, is an eye doctor place, and that's one of my customers. I go in there and I clean their carpet. Uh, about twice a year right in the midst of nature so it's kind of cool it's kind of a nice day out it's not too cold not too rainy all right guys we made it uh, that was a fun little adventure through the woods and through the city and saw a little bit of everything so now i'm here at this little diner and uh it's called skyline i've never been here before you know a lot of times when i go out to eat i'll actually try and talk to the owner and or the manager and I'll just let them know that I own a cleaning company and I might make a suggestion about their floor care or maybe high dusting. That's really how I do a lot of marketing is if I'm just out, you know, and I meet, I see a, like I'm in another person's business, I'll just find out who runs the place and I'll talk to them about how they're going to be cleaning it and maintaining it. It's a really good way to get customers. I'm probably not going to do that here because the guy that I'm meeting with is actually an insurance broker and he works with small businesses in particular. And so He's just getting established in his career, so I think I'll just take the back seat and not mention my business. And I'm I'm like 100% positive that he's going to talk to the owner. So I'm probably not going to mention any of my services and take the spotlight away from him at all. So he's just rolling up. I don't know if I'll take my camera out or not when I'm inside, but I was hoping to... I'm like 15 minutes early, and I was hoping I could actually visit with you guys and tell you a little bit more about um, what happens when someone doesn't pay you on time. But... Doesn't look like I'm gonna get time to do it at this stop, but after lunch, we will uh, finish that up. Okay. 
Okay. All right, guys, I just had a mushroom burger. I know that that is uh, one of your interests and why you watch this channel so that you can know what I had for lunch. But anyway, I'm going to run down to this account that I have to go clean. And then I should have a couple of minutes down there and we'll be able to get into the whole, uh, you know, I'll give you a little bit right now, actually, because I got a couple of minutes. Um, when you first start your business, when you first make a contract with somebody, you want to actually have a policy for this type of thing. Because if you have a policy and procedure in place for when people don't pay you. It takes a lot of the stress out of the situation and that way you're actually just enforcing a policy and you're not actually taking any deliberate negative action towards your customers. Then you could just tell them, um, hey, you know, this is the policy. I've got to enforce it. I really apologize. It's awkward for me, but it is what it is and I can't change it for you because I'd have to change it for everybody. And that takes away some of that pressure um, and like helps you enforce rules if you need to. So. Anyway, I'm going to get driving and then I'll check back in and we'll wrap this whole thing up in a couple of minutes. Guys, I'm on my way to go do that job I was telling you about, but I just got this comment from a guy named Dean. What's up, Dean? He mentioned that I need a microphone upgrade and I kind of agree with him. And so I see this um, Pro Photo Supply Store. So I'm going to go in here because they sell camera equipment and stuff and maybe I'll be able to pick up a mic. We'll see. Okay, so I figured out that I can hook up one of these really big like road mics and I've seen a lot of other vloggers use those and that's kind of what I want. I didn't know I could hook it up to my iPhone, but I guess I can if I buy a little attachment, but it's going to be almost $400 and so it's not something I really just want to impulse buy, um, but maybe next week I'll pick it up. So I want to go do a bunch of reviews and research it a little bit before I choose the one I want exactly, but hopefully next week we'll get it all figured out. Anyway, so we'll finish the whole point of this video and we'll get back to what you guys actually clicked it for. Um, the way I handle my policy for late payments is when I'm writing the contract, I put in the contract that we send out our invoices on the first of the month and then the bills due by the 31st. And then on the first of the month, if I still haven't received the payment, then I just send out a reminder email and I, I let them know. Hey, we haven't received your payment yet for this month. Your service is going to be suspended within seven days of non-payment. And then I just send that out automatically, just kind of like a little reminder. And then after seven days goes by, we send out another email and it says, um, Hi, we haven't received your payment for this month. Service is going to be terminated. Services will automatically resume once payment has been received. And... Typically, people will respond right away. Once they find out their service has been suspended, that's when you're going to hear back from them. And it's funny because you'll send them out the reminder on the first. They won't say anything. Like They just kind of ignore you. And then they, act, then they find out the service is suspended. And then they can kind of get a little bit irritated. And they're like, you know, you get all kinds of weird excuses. And it's kind of weird because it's like, well, I sent you this reminder seven days ago. And you didn't say anything. You knew about this. And I do this every month, and it's the same thing every month, and it gets kind of, it's a little bit weird. People have just really weird reasons for not paying their bills on time. So, anyway, having this method where it's just a process that I follow every single time with every single customer, it really takes the pressure off of me. And it makes it so that I'm not, I'm not providing too much of a service. I'm not overextending myself too much, and I'm still giving them an opportunity to um, pay me. And so I might have to go out there and service the place for seven days. And it gets really frustrating. You know, by the seventh day when we're still out there and we're doing the work, we haven't been paid yet. I'm not going to lie. It's, it gets pretty frustrating and you, you can start to take it kind of personally. Um, but I've never really had any big issues with people not paying me. Um, I only had one really big issue and I'll talk about that in another video. It wasn't even a customer that I had a problem with. It was a whole nother situation, but Anyway, um, most established businesses, they absolutely need janitorial cleaning and it's not something that they're just going to let go. And so a lot of times if you just send them that reminder and then if you suspend service on that specific day, they're going to rush to get you your payment as soon as they can. But they will take it out, you know, as long as they can sometimes. But 
really most people they're going to pay their bill on time and it's it's going to be a non issue so i don't know what it is but when you first get involved in business and you start making deals with people you could start to get really afraid and worried and not trust them and like for some reason you just think that people are going to screw with you i don't know why why people lean that direction but honestly most people are going to come through like when you do business with people most people are going to honor their agreement they just do so you don't need to be nervous or worried about people ripping you off i mean those people are out there and i've been ripped off every now and again but in a five-year period of time doing business with hundreds and hundreds of people all over my city i've never really had any real big issues collecting payment so but i deal with business to business customers you know if you're dealing directly with consumers it's going to be a whole nother story but people who have established businesses and they have a reputation they have their own customers and they've just been around a long time they got there because they're ethical people that is what i've seen so anyway let me know what you think about this style of video um, something new that I've been trying out. I don't know if I'm going to do all of them like this, but it makes it a little bit easier for me because I don't have to sit down for a whole big chunk of time and record a video. I can just kind of pull out my camera as I go about my day. I think editing this on the back end is going to be a little bit more time um, intensive for me. So we'll see how that goes. Right now it's it's probably like 2 o'clock, 2.20. So um, I have another job. i got to go wrap up and then I'm going to sit down and edit this and hopefully I'll get it online by like seven or eight o'clock tonight for you guys also another i guess i can't even really ask this because everyone's different but i don't even know when i should upload these you know sometimes i'll upload them really late at night when i have some free time and then sometimes i do it really early in the morning but i think youtube like tracks to see when i upload like how soon people start watching it so i don't even know the right time to upload this so i don't know maybe you could let me know when what time you guys usually what your YouTube habits are. I don't know. Yeah, it's a little weird to ask, but what the hell? I'm going with the camera here. I'll ask the damn questions. If you want to do what you want, when you want, how you want, for you want, and how much you want, subscribe to my channel, and we'll see you guys next time.